Here's another one, methylprednisolone. It tells you how you can give it. IM or IV only, no other way is possible, is permissible. There's 40 milligrams of the powder medication in the bottle. Well, let's see, how much diluent am I gonna add? It tells me right there. Reconstitute with 1.2 milliliters of bacteriostatic water. And again, a lot of times the bottle of that diluent comes with the whole package. Whether it does, whether it doesn't, you can add 1.2 milliliters of bacteriostatic water to this bottle. But now, what do you end up with? It says, each one milliliter contains this 40 milligrams, meaning there are 40 milligrams in every one milliliter. 40 milligrams per milliliter, that's how strong this stuff is. That's the dosage strength. Let's work a problem. Your order is for 35 milligrams. Here's your dosage calculation already done for you. You have 35 milligrams, put it over one. You have 40 milligrams per milliliter. Milligrams cancel out, 35 divided by 40, 0 0.8750, and realize the rounding off rule. Since it's less than one, you round off right there to hundredths. But the next number is five or more, so make that seven, the next higher number, so the final answer is 0 0.88 milliliters. So this is a fairly simple, very straightforward kind of label. You're told once again how much diluent to add. You're told how strong it is after it's mixed up. And then you can do your dosage calculations. But we'll get to some others a little stranger as we go.